All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, You ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Good punch, Lance. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the targets and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Just missed with the elbow there. Takedown defense is there. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Ooh, going for a leg lock. Your hook looks tight. It's got to be it. It seems so tight. Now trying to escape, and he does. He's freeing his knee, got his leg all the way to the opposite side. Now, the opponent has your back, but you're in a much better position. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Oh, somehow, somehow he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Fighters back to their feet here. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. And he's back up. Three minutes now, round one. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Rosas Jr. Oh, collar tie. Ooh, he didn't see that one coming. Beautiful combination up top. Another clinch position. Watch the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. That's a really strong leg kick there by Rosas Jr. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the day. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Big power shot there. Just over two minutes to go. Clean with the right hook. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Rosas Jr. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Flipped him with the jab. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Huge knee land. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Back to the jab now, no good. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, another nice combination there. Not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was, but he is in a low state here. Oh, he is moving and grooving tonight. He's feeling good. Look at the footwork. Look at the fading of the shoulders. And then when he starts, right, he may not go right away, but when he goes, it's going to be an extended combination. Watch for him to try to really set down the last punch to end this fight. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline 
to stay with that approach. I mean, oh, is he pulling guard? No! Right into a flying armbar attempt. Right into a flying armbar. He put his foot on the hip, used it to propel himself up into that submission. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Rosas Jr. is trying to get a triangle here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, submission defense holds up again. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Oh, he might have that submission locked in. Oh, beautiful job to escape. Oh, Great job clearing the knee. Get this win all the way across and defending that heel hook. That was fun to watch. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. You ready? You ready? Do Second it. round on the way. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would have tapped in that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped it. It was so tight, I cannot believe that he got out of that submission attempt. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling some real traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. Design. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this jiu-jitsu fighter. He's had a lot of success on the feet, and I think this is why sometimes the film can lie if you lean too heavily in. Absolutely. I mean, you think you're coming in here to fight a grappler, and this guy looks like a boxer tonight. His hands have looked crispy. His kicks, everything that he is doing has worked. And I think this is partly due to the fact that you think he's trying to take you down when in reality this guy can fight everywhere. Lands a big elbow there. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Rosas Jr.'s nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, he's out. Inside the closed guard now. Oh, Rosas Jr.'s got his arm under the chin. Going for a guillotine now. That guillotine is tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Making all these shots count. Darce, yep, he's trying to hit a Darce here. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, he got out again. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over Johnny and he just gets up. Seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to oh, in a good position to whip off the Kimura here. Oh, he might be in trouble here. Oh my gosh, how did he get his arm? Unbelievable. He looked like he was done, but he was able to slip the arm out and stay safe. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Side control now. Oh, nice. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he wins another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. Oh, he might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Oh, that sub is tight. Oh, great 
great submission defense. Both fighters get up now. Sneaky body kick lands up the elbow. Rosas Jr.'s eye now closing up. Yeah, right, single collar tie now. Oh, and now oh, God, no. goes for the flying arm bar. He posted his foot on the hip. He used his opponent's weight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. All right, so the strike lands, but my my children hit hard. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw the... Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, that's getting in deep now. That's real deep, Johnny. He's got to be careful. Oh, out of danger now. It looked like we might get a win by submission instead. Right back to his feet. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh! 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 Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut may will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. He was able to get his hands up and block that one. Bone on bone, nicely done with the high kick. Starting to do some really kick right under that right elbow. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Nice straight punch there. Takedown defense holds up. Big knee lands to the bottom. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, and he locks up the triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down with the head, beating the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. Oh, my God. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At one minute, eight seconds of the third round, to claim the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight.